Hello, my friends. Hello, my beautiful people. Okay, so I want to go ahead and I just want to talk about a few missing people that are missing here in June and a few interesting stories. So, first off, I want to, we're going to go to New Orleans. So, Sunday, Chef Demetric Scott's family reported him missing to New Orleans police. They began to post images of the chef on social media, asking for the public's help in finding him. Some family members told our reporters the last time anyone had heard from Scott was on May 31st. A cousin told us Scott's food trailer had food left unattended, refrigerators unplugged, which they say is out of ordinary for the experienced chef, who is so loved in the community. We have Dimitri, who also goes by Chief Scott. Haven't really heard from him in about two weeks. So no one really has heard from him. And then he missed a family function on June 10th. And then people started getting worried about him. They were like, okay, like, where is he? And so his family has gone ahead and reported him missing on um, June 10th, 2023. So yes, this weekend. So they went ahead, they've reported him. There has been a body that has been found on the side of a bridge that is actually pretty close to where he is. And his family actually got a call from police on, I think it was Sunday or Monday, and being like, hey, we might need you to come in and identify this body. And see if it's your dad or not and this daughter is just hysterical and she you know tells the news outlets and stuff that they they found my dad my dad my dad was that body that was by the bridge and she's just you know hysterical i mean she just lost her she just found out that she lost her dad and she doesn't know how he died she just knows that he's gone or so they think so she is scheduled to meet up with the coroner on Tuesday to identify this potential body that could be her father's. Monday night, Demetrius Scott, aka Chief, and is found alive and well. This man that hasn't been heard from from two weeks, didn't go to a family function, hasn't been contacting anyone, hasn't been answering text messages or anything on social media, nothing like that, just walks in the door. After being told, hey, we probably have your dad's body and we need you to identify this. And telling media outlets, yeah, that, that's my dad. My dad died. My dad was that person that they found on the bridge. I mean, if you've lost a loved one, you know what it's like to wish that they would walk through that door. And literally her dad did just that. Just walk through the door. This is absolutely, this is a crazy, crazy story. So... And he is still actually considered a missing person right now because in order for them to clear them as a missing person, they actually have to speak with the detective on file and actually like physically go there um, and speak with the detective face to face and clear them. So he hasn't technically been cleared, cleared yet, but his family says that he they reported him missing to the NOPD yesterday after entering his home and business and finding no sign of him. The family says nobody had spoken to him since May 31st. So they blasted flyers all over social media asking anyone with information to give them a call. The family says they contacted the Orleans Parish Coroner after learning that a body was found in the Desire neighborhood this morning near France Street and Poland Avenue, about three miles from Scott's home. Scott's cousin told Eyewitness News that the coroner said it was Scott, but later said the coroner needed more time to investigate. He's alive and well, then he just walked through the door. And I mean, after being declared online that he's dead. Absolutely crazy. So who's this man and who's this man that, that died? This body. Well, they don't know. The coroner's office has doesn't know. It hasn't been identified. It still remains under investigation. They don't know if it's foul play or not. So I'll, I'll keep you guys like updated on that. It's you know being investigated as we speak right now. Why did Dimitri Scott just go missing for two weeks? Didn't tell anyone where he was going, what he was doing. Didn't answer anyone's messages. And then 
his family literally thinks he's dead and tells media that he is dead. Well, Demetrius Scott says, I just needed some time by myself. And I think we can all relate to that. He's like, I essentially just need some time for myself. I think we can all relate to that. I think that sometimes like we all just need to disconnect and just, you know, have this alone time and reconnect with yourself and figure out what you want and need out of life, you know? But if you're going to do that, I have a few suggestions for those who are going to do this. Because I think that it is important to disconnect and, you know, reconnect later on. Especially if you're going to do that for two weeks, though. I mean, tell social media. Tell social media, I'm taking a break. Tell your friends and family, I'm taking a break. I'm not answering phone calls, emails, whatever. If you need to disconnect from your family, yourself, too, tell them. I'm taking a break, but I'm going X, Y, and Z. Where do you think you might go? And set a time for when you will check in with them. Even if you're not fully done, like, needing your mental break, just telling them, like, hey, I will check in after, you know, day three or four, whatever, and let you know I'm okay. That seriously means a lot. Because, I mean, his whole family started going through the grieving process already of losing their father. I mean, literally walked through the door, which... Is absolutely amazing. Like I said, I wish, you know, if anyone's lost a loved one, I'm sure that they can relate to that. But, but now too, someone did lose their loved one. That there was still a body and someone still did lose that loved one. I do think that there is a wrong way and a right way to disconnect from people. And doing that, not telling anyone, uh, yeah, it's absolutely terrifying. Especially when you have friends and family that care about you so much. Just dis it, just disconnect, but do it in a smart way. The people I want to talk about, now there's not a lot of on them. As always, I contact their family members. I ask them if they would, you know, like to talk about them. I haven't heard anything yet, but... That's okay. I still want to talk about them. I want to get their names out. Get what I have of their story out. So that, you know, hopefully we can find them. Off, we're going to go ahead. We're going to talk about Jalen Rodriguez. He's 12 years old. He's in Philadelphia. And he was last seen May 22nd, 2023 on 1900 block on, of Somerson Street. So he's about 5'4", 130 pounds, medium build, brown eyes, light complexion, like brown complexion, sorry. So he has black hair and there was no clothing description, but if anyone knows anything, please reach out to police on that. You can also always give anonymous tips. I will Shaylin Porter. So, in Philadelphia, there has been a lot of kids missing, especially young women, teens. And Shaylin Porter is 19. She was last seen on June 5th, 2023, around 4600 block of Fairmont Avenue in Philadelphia as well. She's 5'6", 120 pounds, medium build, brown eyes, light brown complexion, black hair, 
has a little nose bigger saying no clothing description was given. She is known though to use tra public transportation a lot, publicly posting on Facebook all the time, almost every day, and asking for people to share and to help try to find her. And I've reached out to her mom on Facebook, so we'll see. On to me, there is, yeah, and her mom's name is Kalina Porter, and she's been trying to get the word out about her, so I've reached out to her and we'll see if we can get any more information. There has been one other that I was going to talk about. So Tyler is here in Utah and I've been communicating and, you know, posting stuff about him too. And I was hopefully, you know, if I could do an interview with him or anything, I'm Tyler. I'm so sorry. I'm just last name. Savichik. Savichik is 22, autistic doesn't like to wear pants, likes to wear the like short sleeves and everything. They said that they have found him Saturday night. No cause of death has been determined, but he he's 22, autistic, likes to wear dresses. I don't know how they said that there wasn't a lot left of his remains. So the coroner doesn't even know, but it's possible it's not. So, if I get an update on that, I'll let you guys know as well. That is absolutely terrifying. Well, he just didn't, you know, <sighs> he might have been in the wrong place, wrong time, that's the wrong people. I, I don't know. I mean, we have Pride Festivals going on right now, too, so there's a chance he went to that. I don't, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm going to find some more information about Tyler, too. I think it's too early to know. From what I understand is that they did come firm that it was him, but if still, if there's like not a lot of his remains to determine if it's foul play or not, I'm not, I wonder if they did dental records or something. I'm not sure on that, but they said it is him. So, all right. Well, I just wanted to give you guys an update on people that are missing here in June, because I think it's important to keep the word out, especially early on. I know it's the 13th of June. But to have like these cases, we can bring them to light and hopefully we can find those others and bring them home safely. Or maybe they can time apart like the chief did. So anyway, I want to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think? Have you seen anything? Please contact police, the family. If you want to give me an anonymous tip, that's fine too. And I will deliver it. We just want to see these people brought home. All right. Hey, that's all I have for you guys today. And as always, guys, just keep fucking going.